start chapter four, which is all about trigonometry, um, with a discussion about radians and what that is, and and that's because that's going to be new. But before we do that, um, let's go over the goal. The goal says by the end of the section, which is end of this video and some of the practice and tomorrow's lesson, we should be able to comfortably convert a radian measure to a degree measure and vice versa. Okay, so that's our, 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 our idea here. And the easiest uh, th way to think of as radian is, is another way to measure an angle. So let's talk about, before we go into radians, let's go back and think about what actually a degree is. Um, okay, get a piece of paper. Pause the video. Go get a piece of paper because you're going to draw something. Did you unpause it? Did you get the paper? Okay, get ready. I want you to draw a circle. Okay, do your very best. Okay, so you got a piece of paper, you draw a circle. Do your very best circle. Okay, there's mine. Okay, now put a center in that circle like I did. Now draw one radius. That's the radius. Let's label it R. Okay, now a degree. Think about uh, think about a degree. Now we already know that there are 360 degrees in a circle. I right? go all the way around. There's 360 degrees uh, f measured from from this angle all the way around to here. 360 degrees in a circle. Now, 360 degrees was most likely. Now this is a theory. Most likely chosen because it is closely resembled or, or resembles the number of days in a year. Now, if you imagine the sun. Like imagine, I kind of imagine it like this, that if imagine this is you standing on the earth and this is like the horizon, like when you look up into the sky, then the sun in your, would travel kind of from east to, from, uh, east to west and it would go around like that and you would look up and sometimes it's here and sometimes, like, sometimes it's there and sometimes it's here and so on. And basically it was travel. Now they believed um, that, you know, since it's the, the number of days in a year, and the sun, you know, the Earth at that time, they might they believed that the sun traveled around the Earth, ancient ancient times. So the sun would take, you know, all the way around um, the Earth, uh, and it would take 360 days to go around. So um, they that's why they said, well, the the elliptical um, path of the Earth and the sun is, is uh, circular. They said, well, why don't we make a complete rotation to have 360 degrees in it? And so that's where our uh, a belief of where the, deg the degrees, the number of degrees in a circle comes from. Okay, another way to think about it is similarly, it, since there are 360 degrees, if I chopped it up, then each one degree, right, that's say one degree, there are 360 identical slices of pie. Right? Think of this as, as a piece of pie or a whole pie, and I've just cut off one piece. So one degree is uh, um, this small sliver of pie, and there are 360 equal pieces in that pie. Okay, so that's the idea of one degree, is that it's a small amount, that they're equal amount, and there's perfectly, right? There's a perfect amount of pieces in that pie, exactly 360 pieces in that pie. Uh, okay, now let's turn to what a, a radian is, because that's it's a different idea. Now, draw a circle. Let's start the same way. Let's draw a circle. Let's put the center in a circle. Let's draw that radius, that same radius. There it is, to the edge, inside edge. There's a radius of length r. Okay, say I grabbed that radius and it was like a piece of string so it bends and it could be thrown into a ball it's just like a piece of string and I instead of and it was exactly that length and I wrapped it around the circumference of the circle okay so imagine me stretching that piece so that it went a distance of exactly our length and let's say that is the same length just a curved length okay so that is also length r now, also, now clearly, this is still a radius, so where it ends on the circle is still a radius. And 
that length, that's radius, that's a radius length, that's a radius length, and this is a radius length, I imagine this is creating the perfect piece of a pie. Think of that as being the perfect piece. That length is equal to that length, and it's equal to the curved length. If that, when that happens, when that length is the same as the curved length, then that creates, that creates an angle, and that creates one radian, one rad, one radian. Okay. Now, again, if I stretched her across this way, that would be like another radian there. Okay, so that is another length of R. That's a length of R. This is another radian inside here. This angle that's created would be another radian. It's that perfect piece. And think about another, th another a three. Another three would, or a, another radian would create like this piece. And let's say that piece. Let's say that piece, and these were all, and then maybe it doesn't stretch all the way across. You don't get a perfect amount of pieces of pi, but we have created the perfect piece of pi. One radian creates that perfect piece of pi. Now, sometimes we don't have, and that's what a radian is. It's that, it's that angle that creates that perfect piece, where the radius is identical to that we call an arc length. Okay, so that's called an arc length. Okay, now that's that. I guess that's that's all I'm going to say. What a radian is. Sometimes now this is a formula I'm going to create out of this. Sometimes um, that that radian is not perfect one. Right, we have a fraction of a radian. So let's let me draw another line in here. Say I didn't go one complete length of r. Then say I only went a portion of it. That means I did not go a full portion of r, which means I don't have a full radian. I've got a fraction of a radian. And let's say that angle is called theta. Then clearly that length is a fraction of the r's length and it actually ends up being proportional to the angle. So the angle is equal to that arc length, whatever it happens to be, divided by the radius. Okay, so the angle is uh, exactly proportional to the distance created with that radius. So th so that or sorry that arc length so this formula creates, in short form, theta is a over r, where a is the arc length and r is the radius. Okay, so theta is the angle in radians. Let's make sure that we copy that down. It's an important formula when we're dealing with say, determining lengths around a circle. Uh, it's also going to be important when we think about how many uh, lengths are, like how many r, how many radians are in a circle. Okay, so make sure, let's make sure we write that down.